Okay guys, so welcome ulit sa ating YouTube channel. Ito na yung lesson 27 sa ating advanced calculus. Ito na yung derivative from the left and from the right. So, ito ay parang konting singit. Uh, konting singit siya dito sa ating topic kasi more on provings kung napansin nyo last time from Karatidor Elema to Inverse Theorem tapos bigla namang solving. Okay, so actually parang proving pa rin naman siya to be honest pero sabi nga, sundin din natin. Okay, so we have this, uh, we have the definition <coughs> excuse me Uh, let the function f of x can be defined at x is equal to x naught so again a function f be defined at x is equal to x naught so meaning continue siya dyan ok then the derivative from the left of f of x at x is equal to x naught is given by f prime of so ito yung basa dyan so parang f prime uh, so parang derivative from the left at x naught is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x naught over x minus x naught as x approaches x naught from the left. So, ito yung from the left natin. Okay, then yung from the right. So, naalala nito. Then, the other definition, the derivative from the right is given as follow. So, ito yung mga symbol na gagamitin natin. So, tandaan nyo lang ang gagawin lang natin. Parehas sila ng formula, ano pinagkaiba? Yung limit. So, yung limit i-evaluate natin from the left, tapos yung limit na isa i-evaluate natin from the right. So, kung naalala nyo rin, ito yung isang definition ng derivative. Okay? So, ito yung definition ng derivative na isa. So, I don't know kung dalawa binigay ko, pero may isa akong binigay, pero ito yung another definition ng derivative. Eh. Papukunin mo. Ayun yung isa. Okay? So, posit tayo dito. <coughs> Excuse me. So, gamitan natin yung formula so para ma-prove. So, note then na uh, f prime, so, lagay ko na rin, no? f prime of x not exists so if and only if f prime from the left of x or the der derivative from the left is equal to the der derivative from the right at x not so pag nag equal yan therefore yung f prime exists or differentiable sya dun yun lang kasi ito Okay, so let's have example. So, determine if f of x is equal to absolute value of x is differentiable at x is equal to 0. So, ito yung i-check natin. So, basically, kung naalala nyo last time, iba yung derivative nya. Dalawa yung derivative nya eh. So, negative tapos positive. Kung naalala yung negative one tapos positive. Tapos undefined pag sa mismong 0. Okay, so obviously talaga, hindi siya differentiable. Okay? Ito ay hindi, uh, ito ay hindi differentiable sa so specific value. So, dapat... So, ayun na, hindi siya differentiable dito pag sa 0. Okay, ayun yung mangyayari dito. So, i-check natin siya. Paano yun? So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung derivative niya from the left, yung derivative niya from the right. So, kunin ko muna yung derivative from the left. So, una is f prime. So, we need to evaluate f prime from the left at 0. Kasi 0 yung x naught. This is equal sa limit as x approaches 0 from the left ng f of x okay, minus f of 0 all over x minus 0 okay, now recall na si absolute value of x is siya ay piecewise function siya ay positive x pag x is greater than 0 siya ay negative x pag x is so greater than equal to test than 0 na kayo dalawang value yan so since ang una natin ginawa is from the left so base dito since from the left siya so ibig sabihin negative x yung gagamitin natin sa f of x okay so therefore this is equal lang sa limit as x approaches 0 from the left ng negative x minus 0 over x And obviously, that is negative 1. This is just the limit. As x approaches 0 from the left ng negative 1. Which is equal sa negative 1. So, ito yung derivative niya. Derivative from the left of 0 is <laughs> negative 1. So, kunin naman natin derivative from the right. So, yung derivative from the right. So, mas maganda ibang kulay. So, derivative from the right at 0 is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right nung f of x minus f of 0 all over this is x minus 0 pa rin 
Okay, so ito siguro tanong sir, ano yung bakit f of 0 is 0? Kasi pag 0 yan, absolute value of 0 is 0. Kaya ito din lang. Okay then, proceed tayo dito. This is equal sa limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Since f of x is from the right na, pwede natin yung positive x. So this is x minus 0 over x minus 0 which is equal to 1. So f prime o oh, derivative from the right is equal to 1 kasi x over x is 1 then yung limit nun is 1 ok so since conclusion gawin natin ok since f prime of 0 is not equal to derivative from the right nya at 0 so f is not differentiable not differentiable at x is equal to 0. Okay? So, hindi siya differentiable dun sa part na yun. Kasi nga, negative 1 is not equal to 1. Tandaan niya. Okay? So, ito yung mga other way mo para ma-show mo siya na differentiable. So, apat na siya, I think. Or, I guess, tatlo. No? Kasi dati, definition of derivative. Pangalawa, karatidori lemma. Pangatlo is yung derivative from the left and right. Okay, so pwede mo i-check din derivative from the left and right para malaman mo kung differentiable yung isang certain function okay so next is let us consider this piecewise function so determine if f of x is equal to 1 half x squared plus 24 for x is less than 24 and 16 square root of x for x greater than equal to 4 is differentiable at x is equal to 4 okay so similar thing kunin natin yung differentiable nya ay yung kanyang derivative from the left and derivative from the right okay so Start with this. Kunin natin yung derivative from the left. Medyo mahaba I think to. So this is f prime. Hindi pala to. So sorry. This is f prime. From the left of 4. Is equal to the limit. As x approaches 4 from the left. Nung f of x. Minus f of 4. All over x minus 4. Okay, now. Uh, ano ba yung f of 4? So, since from the left tayo, ang gagamitin natin literal is ito. Kasi ito yung x less than 4. So, gagamitin natin dyan. So, isa-substitute natin yung f of 4 doon. Tapos, gagamitin natin yung 1 half x squared plus 24. So, this is equal lang sa limit as x approaches 4 from the left ng 1 half x squared plus 24. Okay, then minus... This is 1 half, then 4 squared, plus 24. Okay, then all over, x minus 4. Okay, then, so natin to, no? So, this is 4 squared divided by 2, that is 8. So, that is 32, I guess. So, since that is 32, no? So, 24 minus 32, so, over tayo to ay 32. So, 24 minus 32 is 8. I guess, 8 siya. So, we check natin. That is equal sa limit. As x approaches 4 from the left. Nang 1 half x squared. Plus, or minus, sorry. Kasi, 8, 24 minus 8. 8, 32 is minus 8. So, this is minus 8. All over x minus 4. Okay, so I guess pwede tayo mag-factor dito ng 1 half. No? Pag pinactor yung 1 half, pwede natin ilabas sa mismong limit. So, matitira dyan x squared minus 4 na lang. Kasi pa-factor ko yung mismong 1 half. Okay, so ang mangyari, that is 1 half. So, that is 1 half limit. As x approaches 4 from the left. So, yung 1, ito magiging x squared na lang. Minus 4 over x minus 4. And obviously, x plus 4 na lang matitira. So, this is equal sa limit, as uh, so a 1 half limit, as x approaches 4 from the left, ng x plus 4. Then, substitute natin yung 4 dyan. So, this is just equal sa 
वन हाफ तापस फोर दस फोर विच इज एक वन सा फोर ओके सो यन दो डेरिवेटिव न्या फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट सो यू नीड टू चेक द डेरिवेटिव फ्रॉम द राइट सो गवित को रेड वी हैव ए प्राइम प्लस ऑफ फोर इज इक्वल टू सो आई गेस तोले को ना सा hindi na ako mag-skip ko na to kasi obvious naman ito kukunin natin so skip ko na yung part na to pwede mo naman ituloy so this is limit x approaches 4 from the right ng uh, 16 square root of x minus 16 square root of 4 this is all over x minus 4 pa rin okay then Obviously, factor out natin 16. 16 yung ilalabas natin dyan. So, this is 16. Then, limit as x approaches 4 from the right ng square root of x minus square root of 4. That is 2. O, lagay ko na yung square root of 4 na lang muna. All over x minus 4. Okay. Note na itong ilalim na to. Itong part na to, no? Yung x minus 4, pwede kong gawin square root something yan. Para makita nyo rin. So, this is equivalent sa square root of x plus square minus square root of 4 plus square. Ama. So, ang mangyayari, uh, ang factor nyan, the square root of x minus square root of 4 plus square root of x plus square root of 4. So, ang matitala na lang square root of x plus square root of 4 sa ilalim. Okay? So, this is equal sa 16 limit as x approaches 4 from the right 4 from the right then x square root of x minus square root of 4 all over yung factor na ito square root of x plus square root of 4 tapos square root of x minus square root of 4 okay so obviously cancel yun then apply ko na yung limit so apply ko yung limit dito hindi naman maapektuhan since positive sya so hindi naman kailangan nag 4 from the right or something or 4 0 plus ganun So, that is simply square root of 4 plus square root of 4 sa ilalim. Okay? So, this is equal sa 16 multiplied by 1 over square root of 4 plus square root of 4. Okay? Note that square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, 16 divided by 2, that is 4. Okay? So, meaning, so, therefore, therefore, f of x is differentiable at x is equal to 4 since yung derivative from the left and from the right is equal ok so this is not proving that determine lang naman ok actually pwede mo ang gawin is equate mo na agad tapos solve mo lang patuloy tuloy tapos ayun na yung magiging sagot ok next is ito na so kating application so find the values of m and n so that f of x is equal to x squared for x less than 1 and m x plus n for x greater than equal to 1 is differentiable at x equal to 1. So, ito na yung fix na habi na differentiable. So, since pinipilitin natin na differentiable siya at x equal to 1, so, ang goal natin ito na lang since, lagay natin since f prime of 1 exists this implies that f prime from the left at 1 is equal to f prime from the right of 1 at 1 okay so meaning gamitin natin yung mga formula na yan so pag from the right ang gagamitin yung is x squared okay so this is x squared o gawin ko muna x sorry so gawin ko muna x mamaya na yung 1 na yan okay so gamitin ko yung x squared So, from the left, from the right, that is x squared. So, this is limit. So, limit. As x approaches from the right ng x squared. So, tama lang pala 1. Sorry. x squared, then minus 1 squared. Okay, then all over x minus 1. Equate natin yan sa limit as x approaches 4 from the right nang gagamitin natin ito since 4 from the right magiging mx plus n minus m na lang 
mo m times 1 plus n all over x minus 1. Okay, then itong part na to syempre ay factorable. Itong part na to syempre simplify natin. So, dito sa part na to, matitira, this is limit. As x approaches 1 from the left. Sorry, ba't ako nagpupur? 1 from the left ng x plus 1 na lang dito kasi cancel x minus 1 dito naman is limit as x approaches 1 from the right so sorry na dito ako dun sulat kasi ni sir then that is cancel obviously si n no? so may matitirang mx minus n so may matitirang mx minus m over x minus 1 Okay, na obvious, matitara dito is F lang kasi factor may M, X minus 1 yan. Okay? So, meaning, so dito, ang sagot dito, this is just hindi makakancel yan. So, 1 from the right. Okay? So, since 1 from the right, hindi naman maapekto, hindi naman siya mag undefined So, as, as is substitute natin siya, so that is 1 plus 1 is equal to dito, cancel yung M. So, this is just M. Kasi nga, Tapos kayo m, x minus 1, x minus 1, cancel x minus 1. Okay, so, kunin kayo limit as x approaches 1 from the right, that is also m. So, therefore, m is equal to 2. Okay, so, ang goal na lang natin ngayon is kunin yung value ng n. So, paano natin kukunin yung value ng n? Okay, so para makuha naman natin yung value ng m, gamitin natin na idea nung uh, pag equal yung left and right limit, nag exist yung limit. Tama. So, meaning, kunin natin limit nya from the left, tas limit nya from the right. So, meaning, equate lang natin itong dalawang to. No, so, kunin natin yung limit. So, yung limit ng f of x. As x approaches 1 from the left ng f of x, equal to dapat sa limit as x approaches 1 from the right nung f of x okay so different function kagamitin so this is limit as x approaches 1 from the left nung x squared then this is limit as x approaches 1 from the right nung 2x plus n so sir bakit 2x dinamit ko na yung value ng prime okay then apply natin yung limit so this is negative this is 1 squared which is equal sa 2 times 1 plus n so therefore this is 1 minus 2 which is equal sa n or n is just equal sa negative 2 ok so ganun ko sya kinuha in apply ko naman yung limit kasi nga since differentiable sya doon therefore continuous sya doon so therefore yung limit nya nag exist doon so ano connect connect ko lang yung ating mga topic ok so ah negative 1 sorry buti na lang buti tinitignan ko so that is n is equal to negative 1 so the value of m and n is 2 and negative 1 respectively so ganoon naman yung gagawin nyo pag may halong variable so kunyari may hindi ka nakuha ang isang value gamitin mo na lang yung idea ng limit so limit from the left and limit from the right is equal pag nag exist yung limit nya dun. so ulit pag differentiable nyo sa 1 automatic continuous automatic yung limit nag exist ayun lang yung mga doktong doktong dito ok so that's all for this video so hoping na naintindihan mo siya Uh, I'm hoping na panoorin my next two videos pa natin dito.